Jesus said that if we do not love him above everything, even above father, mother, brother, sister, wife, everything, then we cannot be his disciples. He said even if we do not even hate our own lives, then we cannot be his disciple, we cannot follow him. That is a very hard word. If we want to follow Jesus, obedience is the key. He requires utter obedience. Jesus came to do the will of the Father. And he did not allow anything to stop him from doing exactly that. And that is what he calls us to do, is to total obedience. If you are not willing to go where Jesus sends you, you cannot be his disciple. He cannot use you. If you allow anything to come between you and Jesus, you're not useful for the kingdom of God. If your wife or your husband is more precious to you, you cannot be his disciple. We see that even the closest, one of Jesus' closest companions, Peter, Jesus rebuked him. When Jesus started telling them about the suffering that he would endure and that he would go to Jerusalem and die, Peter took him one side and he rebuked him. He said, Lord, may this never happen to you. What did he say to him? He said to him, get ye behind me, Satan, because you are thinking of the things of man, not of the things of God. So friends, if we are selfish, and if we are more concerned about the comp opinion of other people, what other think, uh, others think of us, about our own ambitions, about my wife, my husband, my pastor, my friends, what the world thinks, I cannot be a disciple of Jesus Christ. He said to the Pharisees, he said, you cannot be seeking the glory of Almighty God if you are still so concerned about the glory that you pile on each other, the recognition that you give to each other. My friend, to follow Jesus Christ means to deny yourself, to truly deny yourself, to deny your own ambitions, to obey Him, to follow Him, and to go where He sends you. He gave His life for us so that we can have life eternally, so that we can have life abundantly, so that we can live forever in His presence. But if we want to follow Him, then we've got to live for Him. We've got to die for our own desires. Many Christians have a problem even stopping sinning. They love sin. They don't love Christ. My friend, if you still sin, you're a sinner and you don't love Jesus. To repent means to turn away, to utterly turn away, not only from sin, but from yourself, from your own ambitions. This whole world is directed onto self. People are so uh, concerned with self-realization and the image. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, those things don't matter. All that matters is the approval of the Master. Is Jesus satisfied with me? People uh, don't want to testify. They say, nobody's listening to me. They're rejecting me. They're laughing at me. My friend, if Jesus is in you, they're rejecting him. But are you willing to go with Jesus through rejection? Are you willing to follow Jesus even if your wife rejects you? Or your husband? Who do you love more? Do you love your husband more? Your mother, your father? Or do you love Jesus more? That is why, my friends, you need to know his voice. And follow him. You cannot go by assumption. Many people assume things. They open the Bible and whack. I say, well, I've got to go there and I've got to go there. I've got to call him. Are you sure? Did you hear from God? 
Do you really know His voice? Will you put your life on it? Because when God sends you, people are going to say you're crazy. When Jesus talks to you, people are going to say, No, friend, you need to go to the nut house. When God said to Moses, Go speak to the rock to get water, what must he have thought? i got to speak to the rock to get water. That's God's way, my friend. You've got to utterly trust Him. So if you don't know His voice, my friend, you will not obey Him. If you don't know Him, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you won't follow Him. Very few people know Him. Many of them say, which Jesus? Which Jesus? There's only one Jesus. There's only one God. There's only one Son of God. And if you don't know Him, my friend, then you will say, which Jesus? Many of them, Christians, they say to me, which Jesus is speaking to you? How do you know? The just shall live by faith, my friend. And if he withdraws, my soul will have no pleasure in him. That is what God says. If you don't trust Jesus with your life, you cannot follow him. If he is not your life, you cannot follow him, my friend. That is why he says, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, pick up his cross and follow me. You cannot reserve anything for yourself. Some Christians have got a problem with Paul. Others have got a problem with other things. That's why they can't get through to God. They never started following Jesus. They love other things more. My friend, if you can't even give up your sin and your lust and your own desires, how are you going to follow Jesus and obey Him? How are you going to decide between Jesus and your wife? Women can manipulate men so easily. Men, they enforce themselves on women. We all have our ways to get whatever we want. But... If you want to follow Jesus, you've got to submit to Him only. Deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow Him in spite of rejection of everybody. Even if you go alone, you've got to know Jesus well enough, my friend, to go with Him. A lot of people will say to you, well, it's not written in the Bible. It isn't. Jesus hasn't written in the Bible what He wants to use you for. It's not written in the Bible. That's revelation. You've got to follow him, my friend. His sheep know his voice and they follow him. They're not led by the scriptures. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, they're the sons of God. He didn't send us a map, my friend. He did send us the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. And if you don't want to listen to the Holy Spirit, my friend, you're not going to follow Jesus. You're not going to please Him. There's only one way to please Jesus, my friend, and that is to get into that close relationship with Him where you hear His voice, where you listen to Him, and where you utterly trust Him above all things, where He becomes your life, where you are totally surrendered to him and him alone and you don't care what people say you don't ask their opinion if you don't know you go on your knees you ask the Lord you battle it out on your knees with the Lord you say Lord Jesus show me please Lord and then you go because you trust him my friends your closest companion will be your biggest enemy and you will often have to say to somebody whom you love very much, Get ye behind me, Satan, because you are thinking of the things of man and not of the things of God. Do you love Jesus that much? Will you follow him? That is what he requires, my friend. Discipleship. Total and utter obedience. May Jesus bless you.